So, you are probably wondering how I brought out these Destination Nostalgia videos together. Well, ever since the pandemic hit, the entertainment selections have been set as streaming exclusives. Hence the reason why the Destination Nostalgia is in a foggy situation. Although physical copies are still available, the newer choices tend to be aimed more for average consumers, except for the ones that expect for the best according to certain interest, including me. This is where I begin to admire my media choices throughout my lifetime. After many days of admiring, I thought to myself, I wish there's more entertainment choices like the ones I've seen in my collection, especially with my favorite franchises that I used to love and grew up with. Wondering when to find the true calling of Destination Nostalgia, I decided to lay down on my bed and hit the hay. <sighs> This is where I have an adventurous dream about an endless hallway of elevators that I filmed in the past. Getting familiar with my dreamy surroundings I started to realize that Destination Nostalgia is really important to me, and I have the top 10 reasons to prove it. Number 10. It brings me happiness galore. When I experience various objects based on my certain interest of sounds, looks, and touches, it gave me a sensation of joy and comfort within me. Whether looking at favorite scenes from certain entertainment pieces, feeling intriguing craftsmanship of items big or small, or hearing pleasant wonders, to me, they all play a huge role of making me happy and nostalgic. Number 9. It seemed to be original in its natural way. Numerous objects have evolved throughout the years. However, some of them have lost their original touch. 
though some of them might be better. It depends on certain specifications. That said, without their certain pure originalities, how would I even find nostalgia within them? Depending on my interests and the way how I look at them, it's vital to find their suitable originalities in order to find destination nostalgia naturally. Number 8. A Selection of Franchises I looked after numerous varieties of franchises throughout the years, whereas my selected ones gave me pure nostalgia in my opinion. The ones that entertain me the most are The Borrowers, Rio, Flipper, Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius, and even though it's from the 2010s, but I found it to be amazingly nostalgic, Paw Patrol. In addition, I would look after other good franchises from various companies that I could trust. These include the ones from Ambi Media Group, 20th Century Studios, MGM, Universal Pictures, Paramount Pictures, and more. Other companies sometimes gave me a boost of fun interactivity or necessities throughout my lifetime. My top five good examples are Quickset, Nintendo, Mattel, Sony, and Subaru. If my picks of these fabulous companies slash franchises do not exist, Destination Nostalgia may not be either. They're like family to me. Number 7. Familiar Actors, Voiceovers, and Sound Effects These key features are vital for originality and optionally my ears desires. For instance, if I find dolphins in certain scenes that sound like this, or any other vocal variations that sound adorable, my ears would sing in harmony. The other good example is dogs. However, unlike dolphins, I prefer them to be in their cartoon fashion, especially their appearances. Here's why. Cartoon dogs, the way how I see them, sound preferably healthy and look even more friendly than the ones in real life. One of their best sound effects, in my opinion, is when they pant. There are specific kinds that I'm looking for, however. I could only appreciate that particular dog sound to be at its best, shown on the left. As long as I don't hear the worst side of things, my heart would be in its adorable sensation. Goddard from Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius, with its original voiceover from Frank Welker and original design, has shown the best overall. Despite being less cartoonish and having an outgoing sensation to party, Luis from Rio still is pretty adorable to my eyes and ears, so I expect more from him. Now, for the sake of fairness, I do accept other facial slash sound effects on all animals, as long as they match within their respective scenes of situations they might face to make their own plots run naturally in selected titles. Furthermore, I expect my desired selection of actors to play in specific characters and roles in their respective franchises and hope for the best.